Tuesday, the 31st of May, and it is 8 o'clock in the morning. We have just got dressed. Well, me and little one have just got dressed. Big one is off to nursery. Say hi. Hi. Big one's off to nursery. Um, we have a busy day planned. Little one has got speech therapy at nine. We have to return Isaac's learning pack, which we did. I'll put the footage in here somewhere. And then I have to go to post office and post a bunch of things. And then this afternoon, my mum's coming to look after the little one because I'm going to the dentist. Oof. So we've got quite a lot on. My dentist is in town, which means it takes a long time to get there. And I have some errands to run in town as well. So hopefully get them done. Um, yes, and that's it. So we're going to get going. So we have to leave in half an hour. And I still have to finish getting ready and brush my teeth. Okay, we finished our two first errands. I've dropped off Isaac's learning pack and I picked up posts. So I'm just going to show you what I got. I had to pick this up because I had to put customs on it. It's really hard to do this. Hold on. We're just waiting at the doctor's office now because Isaac, Isaac, Benedict has speech therapy. But it doesn't start till nine and it's only quarter two now. So I don't want to be too early. Although I'm early for everything. Always. Oh, I'm so excited to open these. Oh my goodness. These are so pretty. I'll just show you. I got some planner bands. From Rainbows and Pixie Dust. So I got this mini mouse and I got this ombre and I got this unicorn I've become slightly obsessed with the unicorns lately I'm thinking of making it like if I have a girl that can be her theme and look she threw in the three mini mouse one which is so cute um I love these as well because you could use them as hairbands if you wanted but they're from rainbows and pixie dust she's actually closed now um, I think permanently, I'm not sure. She said indefinitely, so just wait and see. But we're gonna go in now to speech therapy because there are people around me and I hate vlogging when there are people around me. Hi guys, so it's half past 10. We have been to Benedict's speech therapy appointment. I went to the post office, I returned Isaac's learning pack. I am now making myself a cheese and ham toasty because I had a craving for it and um, I'm probably not going to have lunch till late today, so this way, that doesn't matter. Um, because I have the dentist at 12.40, I'm not having lunch before that, so I figure if I, oh excuse me, I'm quite breathless, if I have toasty now, it's better than eating like a packet of crisps on a Mars bar. Oh, but. Yeah, so I am uh, just making toasties for myself. Benedict isn't a huge toasty fan, so I'm not making him one. Plus, he'll have lunch at lunchtime because my mum is looking after him today, this afternoon. Um, so he'll get lunch at his regular time. And besides, he just ate an entire Kinder Egg at his speech therapy appointment. 
Yes, he eats chocolate there. <laughs> um, we're trying to teach him how to use PEX cards, which is picture exchange communication system. And they have to give a card to get something. So, but it needs to be something highly motivating to them. And for him, Kinder Eggs and the chocolate in Kinder Eggs is really motivating. So he gets a Kinder Egg there. I try and avoid too many Kinder Eggs the rest of the time. But you know what it's like. So, oh my goodness. I'm gonna get this toasty maker, toasty on my maker. That doesn't even make any sense. I'm gonna get the toasty done. While it's cooking, I am going to make a shopping list because I need groceries and stuff. I just heard my dog come. Okay. Hello, Bisky. He knows when there's cheese. Want some cheese? Want some cheese, Bisky? Good boy, Bisky. Want some cheese? Oh, yummy. Bisky loves cheese. He doesn't get it very often. I'm sure somebody's going to tell me that cheese is bad for dogs. He doesn't get it very often. Because I don't eat it very often. I'll show you my toasty maker though. Because it's ace. And I'm talking old school toasties, not healthy ones. Look at my toasty maker! I actually forgot I had this toasty maker. And I asked my mom if she had one I could borrow. And she said, oh yeah, I've still got yours. I got it for Christmas one year. My dad picked it. So yeah, I love the toasty maker. So, I'm going to make a shopping list now of the tons of things we need. Uh, so I'm eating a toastie and Benedict asked for ice cream. And yes, what he means is a cone with no ice cream in it. What you got, Ben? What have you got, baby? Ice cream. Ice cream? Is it yummy? if that's actually a healthy snack or not. I'm gonna go with not, but healthier than if there was ice cream in it. Hi guys, it's quarter to 12. I'm on my way to the dentist. I'm going through a patch of road that has, they're building a bypass or something. And they're doing work on the road as well. So I'm going through a patch of road that is a 50 mile an hour limit. Now. I just set my cruise control for 50 miles an hour and I don't go over it. The number of people who overtake me and go really fast and it drives me absolutely bananas because me and my husband worked it out. Um, I measured the length of road that is a 50 and compared, we worked it out based on if you were traveling 50 miles an hour like it says or at 70 miles an hour, which is the legal speed limit on this road normally. And I worked it out, we did the maths, my husband loves maths, we did the maths and it literally takes two minutes. Yes, you heard me right. It adds less than two minutes onto your journey. It's only like 1.2 minutes. It adds 1.2 minutes or something onto your journey to go at 50 instead of 70. And all these people going at 70 or going faster than 50, and I just think, why? You're risking points on your license, a fine, a criminal record, all for the sake of less than two minutes. So that's my rant for the morning over. <laughs> Um, yes, quarter to twelve. I'm on my way to the dentist. My mum arrived at my house and has Benedict, who was a little bit grumpy because we didn't have any surprise eggs. The surprise egg he'd already eaten at speech therapy. Um, so yeah, we are, mum's around at mine looking after him, and I'm off to the dentist, and then I have some errands to run, have some clothes to return, I have to go to Tesco's and get some groceries. Ugh. I honestly can't be bothered. I have hit a wall already and it's only quarter to twelve. We've hardly done it. I mean, we 
have done stuff, but not much. But I am so tired today. I feel like this weekend and this week I'm just so tired. Um, yeah. That's babies for ya. Also, the speed limit literally just changed and this car behind me zoomed out. Like, oh my goodness, quick change. Anyway, anywho, um, yeah, so that is the plan for the rest of the afternoon. I don't know what time I'm going to get home. And I don't intend on doing much after I do. It's going to be a quiet night tonight. I am expecting to just go to bed. Um, probably that will be my plan for tonight. Maybe go and watch some YouTube or some TV in bed and lie down and go to sleep early. I might have a really early night, like nine o'clock, eight o'clock. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'll have an early night tonight because I'm very tired and I'm not gonna get a nap today. Like yesterday, my husband was off work and the day before, and the day before, but I, it meant I got a nap in the afternoon, which is really good, but it means I stay up later at night. So it's sort of like a catch-22, I stay up later, I'm tired the next day, blah, blah, blah. But today, I won't get a nap because I'm out of the house. Um, even when like my husband's not off, sometimes I have a nap when Benedict does. But I won't get one today, and I think that might help just knock me back into going to bed early. So, it should be helpful because I'm tired. So I'm tired. Um, and I have lots of plans for the rest of the week, so I don't want to be too tired. I'll catch up with you guys probably after my dentist appointment. I hate the dentist. Oh well. Well, if you need to get woken up, go into the hygienist, I'll do it. Ugh. Whew. I do not like the dentist. Well, I don't dislike the dentist. I love my dentist. Um, I've always been scared of the dentist. And I didn't go for a really long time when I was younger, which was stupid. And then I found a dentist. Well, actually, my boyfriend at the time recommended him. And he was so nice. I hate vlogging in my car when people can see me. Yeah, but he was so nice. And I've stuck with him. I've been going to see him for like, pardon me, it'll be 20 years next year that I've been seeing him. So, he's a good dentist. Um, but I don't like going to the dentist. And I really, I just, just the sensations, the feelings, the, the, oh, I don't like it. And um, the hygienist, I really don't, I don't like either. I really like the hygienist, the lady, but I don't like having it done. Because it's just invasive. You never know if you've got your, to close your mouth a bit more, open your mouth. and. I don't like the sensations and I don't like feeling like I'm going to choke because of the, like they can never suck out the water quickly enough, you know, like that suki thing that the dental nurse uses, which is terrifying in itself. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just, I don't like it. So, but it'll wake you the hell up. I am awake now. So I went to Lush as well, because that's sort of my my dentist thing, like I go to the dentist and I go to Lush. Um, yeah, you probably just get a little edit there because a man just pulled right in front of me. <sighs> anyway, went to Lush, bought some bath bombs and got a shampoo bar to try. Um, my friend recommended them, I've never tried them before but I thought I'd give it a whirl. Really should have got a conditioner bar as well because I'm going to have to use a regular conditioner now, but that's okay. So I've still got some left, so I can always go and get a conditioner bar at some point. So <coughs> I'm about to just see how I get on with the shampoo bar. Oh yeah. So I am going to return some clothes I bought to Next because they don't fit me. Um, I got some maternity jeans but they're just too tight. I just I'm going to give up with trying to wear maternity jeans, they're all just too tight. So <clears throat> I'm going to return them. Um, what is with people cutting me up today? I might nip into mother care because it's right next door as well. And then I have to go to Tesco's. So my car smells delicious from all this lush stuff though. I've got a really big bag of stuff. 
it is now 20 to 3. I went to Next and returned my jeans that definitely don't fit. And I went to Mother Care. <coughs> I just wanted to have a little wander and have a look around to see the prices that they're selling some things at. Our Mother Care is quite tiny though, so I don't think, like, they didn't have a few of the things that I wanted to look at. Nothing else, I bought a changing mat in there that coordinates with some of the stuff we've already got. Then I went to Tesco's and got groceries. I got a couple of baby things, got some vests um, and sleep suits because they were reduced and I also had club card vouchers, um, so coupons. So I just bought them today while I was there because they, like I say, they were already reduced and I could use my coupons on them, my vouchers. So I thought I might as well. And then I stopped at McDonald's for a drink. They didn't give me a straw. So luckily I had a one of my travel cups in the car still. So the straw out of that. And now I'm going home and it's only quarter to three. I thought I was gonna be home like way later than Isaac and just way later than this, but I guess when you're by yourself, you can speedily do these things. <coughs> Um, yeah, much quicker trip than I thought it was going to be. And I also didn't spend, like, because I returned stuff to Next, that covered what I spent in Lush. And Tesco stuff was groceries or vouchers, so I didn't actually spend anything more. Oh, the changing mat, that's it. So I spent, like, £8 more than I had planned or <clears throat> more than like just frivolously so yeah I am gonna go home and see my littlest and my mum have a natter with them um I feel like I'm forgetting something like I should go to a shop in the village that I'm meant to go to but I don't know what I've forgotten I can't think of anything else I could have forgotten because I did all my posting this morning hmm, I think I've done everything yeah Okay, I'm gonna go now. It's four o'clock. Well, uh, what'd you say? Yeah. Say hi, guys. Hi, Dad. I I don't want to do it. You don't want to do it? Okay. Little one. You right, Benedict? You being a grump? Bye. <laughs> so we're just having a drink. And then I might go and put some more washing in. Isaac had a very busy day today, didn't you, baby? They went to the woods and they had a picnic. And they went on a beetle insect hunt. And they went to McDonald's. Tell you his nursery is ace. Yeah. Mommy. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, four o'clock. Got half an hour until I have to start making their dinner. So we are going to have a little rest. My mum just left. I've unpacked the shopping. Whew. Whew. 